Hey guys, it is Tyler here back once again with another Assassin's Creed Valhalla reaction video. Today, I'm going to be reacting to the Animus Anomalies in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I've already done two myself, uh, but I've saved a lot of them to do this video. So I'm going to be going around and getting the final eight and then reacting to the ending. Now, something people have told me, uh, including James, has said that I need to make sure I finish all of the mythical storylines to really get the anomalies at the end or connect to that. So I've got that last little Asgard bit to finish off. So we're going to do that straight away. Uh, and if I have anything in there to react to, it'll be in this video. And then I'll go on with the anomalies and do my reactions as I go on and on and on. So you know how these reactions work by this point, most of you. So let's just see how we go. It'll be highlights of all my reactions when I react to things. And if I don't, it won't be in the video. So anyway, without further ado, let's just get right into it, shall we? I'll tell you what, I cannot wait till I never have to go back into this ever again. Except when I'm trying to get the fucking Platinum Trophy. You gotta be fucking kidding me. What? What is this shit? Oh, I hate this so much. I hate this fantasy shit so much. Every minute I have to be in this makes me hate this game. <laughs> Fucking finally. <laughs> Let me end this goddamn fucking quest arc and everything fantasy related in this fucking game. Holy fuck. Have you come to say what I fear? Not to say, but to show a vision of the times to come. None living or dead now equal our heavy in arrogance. To believe that you could remake your fate thus. For all your efforts, for all your struggles, the threads of fate still bind you as tightly as ever. And yet, from this pattern, a single strand escapes the fray stubbornly clings to the weed. Esir, Vanir, your doom will come. The earth will shake, the sun will die. Jötnar will stalk your streets as fire rains upon your heads. And the great wolf Fenrir will feast upon your blood. But you have found a way to live beyond this terror. Let it flow. To cheat your death. From the life tree we go, to the life tree we shall one day return. Mind and spirit will surge to a time far beyond your own. To a time in which you shall be reborn. None may follow. Loki least of all. So that's how the Isu that is actually owed and not this fantasy it of it done. will be reborn through Avel. Time to face our end. In genetic... In genetic rebirths. So is that what these anomalies will show us? The truth of these rebirths rather than the fantasy elements of the rebirths. Jesus. Anomaly right. 4. Bex, you really have to hear this in here. Two voices, definitely Isu. One of them is a Luki, I think. From the staff? Yeah. But I don't think these are contemporary. They feel candid. Accidental. I'll keep trying. So Alethea and someone else. Here's the thing, someone's showing us these as well. It's not even just... It's not... I don't know. Like, who left the anomalies 
in the past in the Animus. It was Subject 16. So someone's leaving these in the Animus. It's not just Isu creating these. This is an Animus anomaly. Layla, it's Sean. I'm sifting through the videos you've been finding. This is an absolute gold mine. I hope you realize. Feels like it. This is literally the clearest raw memory stream footage we've ever seen from the Isu era. Only question is, who's feeding them to you? Yeah, that's exactly right. Who is feeding them to us? Who is seeing these Isu memories? I got the data. Here it comes. Desmond? So far with these anomalies and everything related to the Isu, like, it's just retelling stuff I know already. Retelling the Six Myths of Salvation, Juno stuff. There's either some mystery that they're yet to show. Here we go again. Hey, it's Sean here. Um, Bex is Otherwise, the big mystery is time. who's feeding this information. Find out where this raw data is or both. From. It's Definitely. It's DNA, is it? Can't be. Feels too deliberate. Like someone wants you to see it. Of course. Who's feeding the information? 16 was erased. So it's either someone we don't know, or it's Desmond, or an Isu, somehow. Clones? Clones? Or is that them testing putting their genetic memories or genetic beings into other beings? Definitely the spawn of the sages, or like the concept that sages exist in, but on a broader spectrum. So you may be wondering, Tyler, why have you changed clothes in between this reaction? Well, the thing was, for whatever reason, I got a blistering headache doing all these anomalies back and back and back. Um, back to back to back to back. Now, I don't know if it was that or the, the nine shots of coffee I'd had the previous four hours and the lack of water, but I got this blistering headache and couldn't continue. So here we are, finishing... Uh, Anomaly 9 and 10. Here it comes. It's just a matter of getting that 10th one now. Because, literally, we're not learning anything new. We know what, what's coming. The Again, the question is simply, who's giving this to us? That's the real question. I don't even think there'll be a surprise, really, at the end of this all, in terms of what the what the go is. Oh, it's time. Oh, fuck. I think we're in for something bigger than we bargained for. Get ready. I got it. Be ready. Isu. That's the Toba catastrophe. Odin. Tia. Loki. All of them. Transmitting their minds into human bodies. We're right in the middle of the Toba catastrophe. Or Ragnarok. Of riders, it's all happening. Holy shit. Let it flow. From the life tree we go. To the life tree we shall one day return. And how did those human bodies survive? Is my question. None may follow. Loki least of all. It is 
done. Now, to face our end. What? Ah, right. And this is how Loki got his memories forward. I will find you, dead one, on the far side of our doom. Holy shit! What is that? I have a few guesses, and all of them are wild. I'll upload this to the server. That was wild. And of course my fucking camera cut out whilst I was reacting to that ending, but... Jesus. So... I guess there's no real surprise there. We knew what was coming. It was just the reality version of what the myth mythical visions were telling us of the Isu um, indexing their memories, consciousness into humans, uh, similar to how sages work, but this is um, different again. And multiple Isu doing that, right, as the um, world ended during the Toby catastrophe 75,000 years earlier. But there's some rivalries going on there, right? So Loki, obviously his genetic memory is pushed forward, and I assume that connects to um, Bassem. And then you got Tia with um, Sigurd, and obviously Odin with Eivor, and that's why Eivor is a female-born, uh, in canon, female-born with the memories of this male that is the Isu Odin. And that's the reality. So, I mean, it makes sense. This is what's put together. It works in lore. It's interesting. What's the most interesting part, though, is who left these messages for Layla to find. Uh, and that's what interests me the most. And that's, I assume going to be revealed towards the actual end of the game in the Monday ending. So um, that's what I'm looking forward to pressing on with and getting to now. So yeah, wow. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed my reactions, even though bloody camera cut out. Um, and uh, I'll see you very soon for another Assassin's Creed Valhalla reaction video. Goodbye.